our expectation is that big data is going to grow over, well over a uh, thousand percent in a two year period to about one and a half billion dollars this year. So what do I mean by big data? This is one of the reasons why I had Casper and Darren talk about uh, social games. Anybody here ever played Castleville? Come on, we got 1,400 people registered and nobody's willing to admit they play. 50 million people a day play Castleville and nobody in this room. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I believe you. Millions wouldn't, but I do. Castleville's a game. It's a social game. You pay nothing at first and you go on and what you end up doing is you play the game and you get your friends to join and you go up levels and you buy stuff. You buy a new sword, you buy a new castle, you buy a new catapult. And the companies that make these make money by getting you to buy more stuff. You just heard Darren and Castra talking about how important it is to take all these millions of users and convert more and more of them to spend more and more money. So that's what Castleville does. Seems kind of trivial. It's <laughs> just a game. Just a game. I mean, it's not as real as making uh, bottles of water, right? So what do I do with a bottle of water? Well, I take water and I put it in a bottle in a factory. Then I take that factory and I put it on trucks and I send it around North America and I get people to buy it. Across my factory, I might have a couple million, tens of millions, hundred million, billion bottles of water. And I know where they are all the time. I know which truck they're on, I know they're in a retailer, and I know whether or not they've sold. All of that together might be a terabyte of information. Maybe two tops. Traditional database management tools are perfectly capable of analyzing that kind of problem. So I can solve water across every single person in North America using traditional tools. What I can't solve is Castleville. Why? Because it's not about counting one physical bottle of water and where it goes. Instead, I'm looking at each page view, each unique, registrations, return visit, number of minutes on site, referrers, click paths, each battle, when somebody on Castleville gets into a battle. Do they find it too easy and quit and not buy an additional level or an additional sword, an additional life? Or do they find it too hard and quit and not refer their friends? Do they buy gear? What's the revenue? What are the levels? Number of infights? Uh, are they sending gifts to their friends? All of these things measured literally second by second across 50 million daily users produces data, byte, data, data basis on the order of five terabytes and more. All of a sudden, traditional data tools sometimes struggle with those. If you're trying to look at enormous sizes of data, uh, we expect to see this uh, market grow uh, as people in a number of industries look at this stuff. Uh, but 80% of the Fortune 500 is going to have a big data project by the end of 2012. But just to be clear, we are in the really early days of this market so far. So keep your eye on big data. It's not hype. It's real. 